My name is Lia, I'm the co-founder of Ava. Yeah, I'm Pascal, co-founder and CEO of Ava. I'm Peter, I'm one of the founders of Ava and responsible for research and development. I'm Philip, I'm responsible for product and operations at Ava. My name is Naomi and I am the product manager here at Ava. I'm Lisa, VP Data Science. I lead the data science team and the algorithm development here at Ava. We're right now at the place where you can get technology for everything. Everything in your life is so much simplified by technology because so many smart people work on so many solutions for every for your everyday tasks. But somehow in cycle tracking and when it comes to women's health, there's just almost nothing being done there. My wife was using the temperature method for years. Since I have been in wearable technologies for a long time, I was sure that there must be much better ways to know when you're fertile than actually taking the temperature at the same time every morning. So that was my reason to actually start Ava. We had the idea for Ava in 2013 and quickly it became clear that with the technology platform that we want to develop we're going to be able to cover a lot of unmet medical needs in women's health. It is amazing how the female body changes throughout the cycle and to what extent it's measurable. However, the data we're dealing with here are not easy and uh, which face new challenges every day. It has not been one single day here at AVA where I didn't learn something new. At AVA I have the unique chance to be responsible for a high-tech product that changes the daily life of women my age. I really identify with and love to develop further what we are doing here and draw ideas from my everyday life and from all my surroundings. Women's health it plays a major role in, in, in women empowerment in general. I think that is what I was so excited about when we came to talk about Ava. I believe that the journey of getting pregnant and having a healthy baby could be so much easier. Today's methods are either imprecise, inconvenient or actually both. A lot of women during the course of their life will want to track their menstrual cycle at some point. Some do it because they're trying to get pregnant and they need to understand the perfect window for them to try. Um, and for some women it's just curiosity. They want to understand their hormones better, their regularity and everything else. But a lot of women at that point find that the solutions that are out there right now are really awful. I often tell people about Eva and our project. Many people respond by asking me women's health, is that a real market? And to me this is quite ironic. We're speaking about half of the global population and of course this is a real market. There are many issues in women's health that are very poorly understood now. It's not only knowing when you're fertile, but it's also complications that could happen during pregnancy, after pregnancy, throughout the reproductive phase up to menopause. And I think it's really great that we can advance science in these fields. There's a huge gap of uh, what's currently out there in the market and what's possible with today's technologies. Uh, digital health uh, enables uh, much more convenient and more precise medical solutions and we want to close this gap. The new wearable technologies open new horizons and the EVA technology allows to really push the boundary of knowledge within women's health. This is a topic that's been neglected for a really long time and I'm very proud of being a part of filling that gap. I do believe that we in the technology business have to advance further to empower the freedom of choice for women. This means we have to bring better solutions at lower prices and we have to shed light on women's health in general in a broader context. I think in the end a solution like Eva should have been there 10 years ago. If you think about it, women go through those different life stages and they're always in one of them. They're either trying to prevent pregnancy, they're trying to get pregnant, they are pregnant, then the whole thing repeats and eventually they're in menopause. But all those stages are really, really important and it's really important in all of them to have an insight about your body. And what my vision is for Ava is that we bring all those insights and all the clinical research that we're doing to all those stages of a woman's life be it contraception, be it conception, be it pregnancy monitoring, and that we really develop a solution for all of the stages and be part of a woman's journey um, with all the insights we can give them. The general vision of Eva is to follow the woman throughout her whole reproductive age. 
However, the topic I feel the strongest about is helping women with very regular cycles. These are the women that are the most in need of an easy to use way to track their cycle and find their fertile uh, window. This is where I believe we can do the most good and I believe we'll be there very soon. I would like for Ava to be the women's health product that is easy to use and gives me insights about what is going on in my body at any life stage. I would love to see Ava as a companion for women throughout their whole reproductive age. With the additional services uh, we are developing, Ava will become relevant for all couples on the globe. We want Ava to be a long-term companion of women and support them to have a healthy and natural lifestyle.